All right, let's get to tonight. We'll start it and then we'll finish it after the break. We'll squeeze one in here uh, before we get going. The Cubs and the Guardians getting together in Cleveland. Uh, Imanaga goes for the Cubbies tonight. We mentioned in the line share that Ben Lively, who gives up lots of taters, is going for Cleveland. Cubs minus a buck 20 on the road. Guardians even money at home and a flat eight. Yeah, look, I, I think the uh, Cubs are going to have trouble scoring runs against Lively in Cleveland. I'm going to take Cleveland at that price in their building at, at plus a buck five. I know him and August tough, but uh, I think they're going to have problems scoring against uh, Cleveland tonight. Give me the uh, guard. This is the chance for them to, you know, they, they split with the twins. Go home and start winning, honestly. Cardinals are in Cincinnati against the Reds. Sonny Gray and Andrew Abbott minus 135 for the Redbirds, plus 115 for the Reds, and an eight and a half. Yeah, I think, you know, the only way here, again, it, this is a run line game for me. I'm going to lay the run and a half at plus 118 to get some value out of this and make some money. I'm not laying a buck 45, too juicy. Why don't we go to Tampa next, uh, where the Astros are in town for a few days against the Rays. Framber Valdez and Taj Bradley is the pitching matchup tonight for that one. Bra Astros minus a buck 30 right now, plus 110 for the Rays and a flat seven. Yeah, I got to tell you, I like the over in this one, to be honest, speaking of totals. And I like Valdez, and I don't think it's too pricey either. At, uh, that's about as high as I'm willing to go at, at minus buck 35 in terms of juice. The Rangers, after being in the Bronx, now go up to Boston to see the Red Sox. Of course, Brian Ballo going for the Red Sox. Tyler Molly is going for Texas. Minus 125 for Boston. Plus 105 for the Rangers and a flat nine. I got to be honest here. Uh, the way Texas plays, I'd be willing to run line this at plus a buck 58 if the Red Sox could score some runs at Fenway. My God. I mean, if you're going to do it, why not do it to this guy? Yeah, uh, they should be able to hit uh, Tyler Molly uh, tonight at home. That's for sure. Uh, Royals and the Twins. Good one in Minneapolis. Brady Singer and Pablo Lopez. Minus 160 for Minnesota, plus a buck 35 for the Royals and an eight and a half. I like the Twins on the run line. You talked about how Singer has struggled mightily against the Twins. That's all I need to know. He gives up lots of hits and homers to the Twins. Give me that uh, run line at plus a buck 35. And I'll take the over eight. Yankees go to Chicago to see the White Sox, the worst team. In baseball, Louis Heal goes tonight. Kai Bush going for the White Sox. Minus 350, the heavy lumber game of the night. White Sox plus 270 and a flat nine. Yeah, no thanks. The only way to bet it is the over nine runs at minus a buck 15. That's the only way you can go here. These odds are terrible. I will tell you this. Yankees will lose one of these games in Chicago to the White Sox. I don't know which one it's going to be. Might be tonight, might be tomorrow, might be Wednesday. They should sweep that team. They'll lose one of those three games uh, to the Chicago White Sox. We'll write that down now. We'll see if I'm right. I think they're going to. How you play the White Sox. I, I, I could see it. I could absolutely see it happening. Dodgers in Milwaukee, so a couple first-place teams in the NL. Clayton Kershaw and Freddie Peralta are the starters tonight. Minus 115 for the Dodgers, minus 105 for the Brewers, and a flat eight. Uh, I got to be honest with you. I'm all over uh, the Brewers here. I, you know, everyone's teeing off on Clayton Kershaw. Every time he goes out, it gets worse. And now yeah. he's on a road against this team in Milwaukee. How do you not pounce on that minus a buck five? I mean, you talk about a price. I like that value right there. They're going to beat him. I'm with you on that. I like Milwaukee tonight as well. The Blue Jays are in Anaheim against the Angels. The great Bowden Francis goes for Toronto uh, against the equally impressive Davis Daniel for Anaheim, who's minus 115, Blue Jays minus 105, and a flat nine. You know, I, I'm going to take Toronto based on what Vladdy's doing lately. He's tearing the 
cover off the ball, hitting home runs, getting hits every single game, 21 game hit streak, whatever it is. He just never stops producing for them. And the angels are awful and it's a pick them. So give me the Jays. Rockies go to Arizona. There is some more heavy lumber on the card tonight as Brandon fought and the snakes are minus 300. Our pal Cal Quantrill goes for Colorado. They're plus 240 and an 8.5. And I'll bet the over at 8.5 uh, and, and minus 115. That's it. Uh, those prices are ridiculous on the run line. And the money line's the worst thing ever. Minus 320. Give me a break. Yeah, that's, uh, that's ridiculous. I think Arizona can get the over by themselves. Uh, Pirates and the Padres in San Diego. Joe Musgrove back for the Padres tonight. Marco Gonzalez for the Buccos, minus 200 San Diego, plus 165 Pirates and a flat eight. I'm on the uh, Padres here. Easy money, run line at plus 105 and the over eight. And it's not that bad of a price at minus 120. The Pirates are losing every single night now, and they're facing their former guy, Musgrove, in Petco. And the Padres have been absolutely on fire, whatever it is, 16 of 19 games. They're going to kill them. Of course, the Braves are reeling right now. Uh, they're clinging on to that last wild card spot in the National League. Giants only a couple games back. This is the start of a four-game series out there. Chris Sale and Blake Snell, great pitching matchup as well. Minus 115 for Atlanta, minus 105 for Snell and the Giants, and a six and a half on the board. Listen, uh, I know Sale's a badass, and I don't deny he's been incredible this year, but he hasn't been of late, right? Like, he hasn't gotten it done lately, and neither have they. And so I think the Giants have been playing really good baseball, and Snell has been unbelievable, a no-hitter, a 15-strikeout game, and he's pitching at Oracle. Uh, I got to be honest with you. I like the uh, Giants here, and I don't think uh, that price is bad at all. Minus a buck fifteen. I don't know uh, what it is in other houses, but uh, I'm going with the Giants. The Braves just aren't winning. Braves just are not winning right now. I'm with you. Uh, I got to tell you, I kind of, kind of like the over too. Six and a half slow. Uh, you know, all it takes I is one of those over. guys to, to I get dinged up a little bit. All it has is one of those guys to not be sharp, and we can get that uh, with, you know, a 5-2 game or something. So I'm going to take the over uh, with the 6.5.